Yo, what's up, world? This is Felicia Winston, aka Transition, and I'm repping live here at Nomega Studios for NomegaTV.com. I'm known as the First Lady of Slam Richmond, currently holding it down as Slam Mistress for Slam Richmond. Takes place every Saturday night at Art Space Studios. Come and check us out, roll through, because in August, we're going to represent Richmond at the National Poetry Slam. Y'all want to reach us? Hit us up at www.myspace slash slam richmond. If you want to reach me, holler at me at poeticfifi70 at yahoo.com. First piece that I'm about to do is Daddy's Little Girl. This is my signature piece. Could my... Promiscuity be attributed to that masculine touch that I didn't have when I was growing up? Or could my sexual misconduct be simplified to the fact that I'm just a girl who likes to give it up? Experts say that daughters who grow up in fatherless homes oftentimes wants to fill the void of being left alone by the first man or presence is ever known and she may grow up with the innocent ignorance that she's just the freak of the weak and likes to get boned. You see that feel of a big hairy chest was supposed to have been felt before we took our first steps. Instead, the comfort of a woman's bosom is all that was felt. Could this be the reason why when I meet a man, I extend my body instead of my hand? You see, for years this I couldn't understand. Just like every young girl, I thought I had that bomb sweetness between my thighs that could conquer any man. Oh, I made ways to get it so my moms would know. I could have been that young girl in R. Kelly's video, but the fact is, I was the powerless one. Giving them what they wanted, but I thought I was having fun until that dirty deed was done and then back to their lives they would run, leaving me alone, same as before, digging a deeper trench where there was already a void. See, over the years, my moms could never do enough. I realized it was out of anger that I made her life so rough. You see, she was paying a debt that she didn't owe for a man whose face I would never know. And over the years, I became complacent. And up until now, I just thought I'm high maintenance, wanting this and needing that, all in an attempt to keep me intact. But when my woman child was born and I brought her home, I made a vow that she would never feel alone. She would never seek a debt in the face of any man she met, and she would know the feel of that big, strong chest before she took her first steps. You see, her dad and I are making sure of that. As for me, well, that's a whole different story, and I'm afraid that I may never feel that glory. So I'm sending this poem out to my sperm donor somewhere in the world. Here's a big thanks for nothing signed, Daddy's Little Girl. 